Uh, how's the script for the show coming along, buddy? It's coming along! Great. You know, I can't wait to cast our first actor. Me either. Then I could start being a casting director, as I was hired to be. Come in! Are we all stuck in bloom in? Um, no, they haven't come in yet. We're their co-workers. Oh. Good tell me then. Excuse me? Oh, I am so sorry. I'm Swedish. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Quite all right. Now, allow us to introduce ourselves. Hello, I'm Sam Pan. Um, the assistant producer. He's Calvin O'Keefe. The casting director. And I'm Charles Wallace Murray, the script supervisor. Oh, nice to meet you. Costing today? Costing? 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 Casting! Casting, of course! <laughs> yeah, we are casting today. In fact, we started casting just last night. We, we did? did? Yeah, sure. Uh, guys, I hope you don't mind. Because A, I would like to have a chance at being the casting director as I was hired. And B, I would really like a woman in this office who's under 90. Ha, ah, okay. <laughs> the script. Now, just pick a page and pick a character you want to audition for. Okie dokie. So what do you do, Miss Ula? Ula sing and dance. You sing and dance, huh? Hmm. I think I know the perfect role for you. You're in the show. Oh, thank you. We're here, kiddos. And who's this? Max Leo. This is Ula. We just casted her in the show. Ula, this is Max Bialystok and Leo Bloom, our bosses. Bialystok and Bloom? Good tag me venen. You see, Ula is Swedish. That's how she greets people. And you've already casted her in the show? Do you even know if there's a role for her? She told us that she sings and dances. I know the perfect character in our show that does all that. Excellent, Calvin. Excellent. Now, kids. I made us two million dollars by a flirting with the little old ladies. And how much money do we put in for the show? Oh, Sam, Sam, sweetheart, being a producer comes with two rules. One, never put your own money in the show. And two, never put your own money in the show! Got it. You got lucky, my dear. When Max explained that to me, he yelled it right in my ear. <laughs> All right, so we didn't give Ula the starring role because she's not geeky and she's not frumpy like Meg, but other than that, she is perfect for this show. That's wonderful, Calvin, but we don't know when we're going to start rehearsals. So we'll give her a position in the office. We're always letting other people into our group accidentally. How hard can it be when we put our minds to it? Good idea, Sammy. Hey, Ula, I think we have a position for you. We would like you to be our temporary secretary slash receptionist. Secretary slash receptionist? Okie okay slash doki. I can do that. All right, thank you. And while you're being our secretary slash receptionist, it would also be nice if you could tidy up a bit. Tidy up? 
Yeah, tidy up. Like, make make the office look nice or something? Oh, okie dokie. That's wonderful, thank you. Now, what time can you come in the morning? Ula, come at 11? 11 sounds perfect, Ula. Come right on over at 11. Kids, you really picked a winner. Thanks, Max. I agree. She is amazing. The most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I've never felt this way before. <laughs> I've heard that one before, Leo. Either you're in love with Ula or you're having a stroke. Oh, Sam, it's obviously the first thing. Charles Wallace, Sam, Leo is our boss. And he's in love with Ula, who is coming every day to be our secretary slash receptionist. We got a problem. How is Leo being in love a problem? Better yet, how is it our problem? Well, it's not our problem, but it is a problem. Don't get me wrong, Ula is a beautiful lady. But I don't trust her. I think she's okay. And you're the one who casted her. He's got a point. And I kind of agree, this is a beautiful lady, and she seems nice. And Calvin, you don't trust anyone. I mean, you had your doubts about Leo at first. I'm still not completely sold on him. <laughs> All right, if anything fishy goes on between the two of them, we need proof that Ula is doing something fishy. Maybe something embarrassing might fall out of her handbag. And right into our sticky little fingers. As suspicious as I am about that woman, I feel like we'd be betraying Leo if we did something like that to his crush. We're just trying to dig up some dirt on that lady to protect him. But honest, little buddy, I kind of think Calvin's right. We don't, we don't want to, we don't want to be snooping around. Leo will never trust us again. Maybe you're right. But what are we going to do? Well, I think what we should do is just wait and see if anything goes wrong. If anything goes wrong and Leo comes to us saying that something went wrong, we could just tell him what we think. Good idea, Cal. We'll start when we come to work tomorrow. <laughs>